David James for Life the Basic Manual. NV building Salford Keys, the story so far. So the fire service have put a fire order on the buildings, which means there's stuff needs to be done to bring them up to code. The developers, Countryside Properties, they reckon that it was built to code, it was signed off, so they say everything's okay. The residents here have had a structural survey done, structural engineer taking a look at it. He says that it's not up to code. The residents are left in the middle. They've got a huge bill coming up to replace the cladding and um, nobody can say who's responsible. Um, it needs to be dealt with because people need to feel safe and the works need to be carried out and it can't be the residents themselves who pay for it because that's just absolutely ludicrous. Picked a spot that's in between third and the fourth floor. So basically you've got the render on the outside which is painted which is quite a thin layer and then there's polystyrene and then in between the floors we've got a fire break which is this and we need to address the issue of this fire break does not come to the render so this thickness of polystyrene was the original problem and so there's a fire in the, in the cavity here yeah so this this polystyrene is combustible yeah so if this sets fire yeah then the fire would spread up that cavity yeah. and it would spread from floor to floor. Yeah. Whereas this here is supposed to stop the spread. It doesn't look like there are any vertical fire breaks. A bit more. Is this stuff rock wall? Yeah, yeah it's a type of rock wall, look, yeah. Yeah, so there should be, this This 200 mil there. layer of rock wall should actually be vertical as well. So that's a problem also. Okay. Because the risk is of fire coming out of an apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's a fire in that apartment, burns out the reveal, flashes in there, up the cavity. So you need to close that off. The only is that it is quite absurd for, you know, even a long leaseholder in an apartment block to be responsible for the structural fabric of a building. You're normally responsible for paying a proportion of the costs awarded. I want to be reassured that I'm safe. Potentially at the time of being built, I might not have met regulation then. We bought a building that we thought was livable, saleable, we could live there comfortably. But I'm a first time buyer, it's going to put me into a huge amount of debt. It obviously causes a lot of, a lot of panic um, within the household and, and all sorts of you know, financial strain and, and issues off the back of that.